and welcome back guys. We are on part 14 of Pokemon Blue. So what we were doing, we were just training up on these uh, these Pokemon guys right here. We can actually cut this tree and there's some grass over there, but I feel like let's finish off all the trainers on this route and then we'll check out what has to offer, what, what, that, what that mysterious patch of grass has to offer our young Pokemon training body. So, Cordialis is at level 30. That's fucking badass. This guy's got a muck. Yeah, he's got he's got a Grimer and a muck. So basically, we're trying to get balls reasonable level to uh, actually like train itself. So it can learn self destruct. Uh, I might as well just take a move out for it because I'm never gonna be using like let's say Screech anyways. And if sometimes you know self destruct can come in handy, I guess if you're in the in game. But it, it, whatever. It's it's kind of what that thing's known for which is pretty cool so I, I might as well teach it I might as well ha I might as well ha it might as well have it god can't fucking talk all right super nerd go balls some guys fuck I wish you had more HP balls come on balls get some more HP let's go into I don't know if can start and sting I think bug is actually super effective on poison isn't it yeah it is all right why was bug super effective Leave a comment. Why was Bug super effective on poison in this game? That's weird. That is that is quite strange. I remember actually getting comments from people saying, "Hey, I uh, I wanted to tell you that like the the types are different in this game." And I'm like, I'm like, hell no. That is what? There's no way. Um, and I actually that's that's another thing. I I read all of my comments. Um, I sit there and I go through every single one in every one of my videos. That's what I do all day. I read oncoming comments. So I mean, like, I'm one of those. I'm not one of those people that doesn't read comments. Like, I read. I see everything you guys say to me, even those asshole people. I see. I, you think I don't see it, but I see it. So, watch what you say on my comments. <laughs> god, now I'm gonna get like 20 more hate comments. Whatever. All right, Nidorina, Let's go ahead and kill it with. Oh my god, that thing looks like a fucking pit bull or something. You don't want to mess with a Nidorina. Hell no. Nah. I always, I always like this awkward, like, line of people. You know, what is the deal with this awkward line of people? Hold on. When I beat these, when I beat this, uh, this freaking me out, I'll show you what the people look like. They're all standing there in a line back to back, but they're all looking different ways, like they're fucking ready for something. And you're like, dude, what are you guys doing here? There's no reason to be standing in a line. You just decide to come and, like, bring your Pokeballs to the corner and stand in a line with your buddies. I don't understand where the... The logic came from with that, but whatever, that's just me. Oh shit, he killed me. I thought I would get lucky there. Alright, Sergeant Sting. You're gonna have to finish it off. And one more Meowth, kill it. Alright, okay, so look at these fucking idiots. They're all standing in a line, and they're just like, they're just chilling. They're like, yeah, you know, we play Pokemon. We, we decide to uh, come to this random square of, of town. I don't even know. This isn't even like an important route, but they, yeah, they, 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 that's where those guys hang out. It's just their place. You don't you don't come up in that side of the building without knowing that that's their hood. It's fucking. They're a gang, I bet. They're the Pokey Gang. They're like the Squirtle Squad. They're the fucking whatever the hell kind of Pokemon those people even had. Meowth Squad. They're the Meowth Squad. But let's heal up our Pokemon real quick because we're running low and. Uh, we gotta put balls in front. Alright, he's already in front. He's level 22, so I guess that's alright. Um, let's go down, way down this way, because we haven't gone that far in this town yet, and I wanna see what's happening over this way. So it's a big ass bridge leading off to other fun things. So what is this sign? What is this sign? What are you doing, sign? Route 12, North to Lavender. Alright, thank you for the information. Thank you. So. Fucking. I wish I could surf. I wish I, wish I had my Lapras with me. I'd really enjoy surfing. Alright, what's this fat guy want? God, do you fat- this guy battles? Oh, this is a perfect route to be training balls. Damn, I did not even think about this while catching him. Usually I have logic behind finding my Pokemon, but no, I- I just kinda wing it- winged it with, uh, Voltorb. But actually, this is perfect. I caught it right earlier, and, uh, now I'm at the right level to be training on these water-type Pokemon. This is really the first of the water-type Pokemon we see other than Misty's Gym, I guess. Because there's never really any water otherwise. Because we're in like we must be we must be in like the the California side of the United States in the Pokemon world. But yeah, so this is great. Balls already grew two levels on this shit. So for, keep the Goldines coming. I'm liking this. These fat people always seem to have Goldines. These fuckers can't find a, can't seem to catch anything except for Poliwags and Goldines and Shelders. But 
What, what kind of fisherman are you? See, look at Goldine. He's gonna, gonna have a tentacle. Like, oh, that's fucking exotic. Cool tentacle. Actually, wait, no, he has a horsey. That's, that's actually pretty cool. I like horsey. Horsey is a badass guy. It wasn't Kingra in this game, but there was Cedra, which was pretty cool. I like Cedra. You know, I actually might even get a Cedra. Leave a comment if I should get a Cedra on my team. Can I catch Cedra? Holy shit, what the fuck is this thing? A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. What? Why, why is the what? What? Get this Snorlax out of here. Why can't I just go around? It's fucking just sleeping right there. Wow. Alright. Wow, man. So that's gonna lead off into the uh, Poke Flute, I believe. We're gonna need to go get a Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji. He tells us that, uh, hey, man, you can use this Poke Flute to wake up wild Pokemon. And I'm like, wait a second. There's a freaking huge Snorlax over that way. Maybe this is what they had in mind when they gave me a Poke Flute. So we're gonna walk over that way, and then we use the Poke Flute on Snorlax that wakes him up, and we are on our way to the other places. But that's that's later. We don't get the Poke Flute till later. So let's go back up here, and we're gonna go into that big ass building that I told you was like the Pokemon Cemetery. So this should be fun. I enjoy the uh, the Pokemon Cemetery. It's quite it's it's quite adventurous. We're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna actually explore it pretty good. So, I came to pray. Sniff, I can't stop crying. So, yeah, as you can tell, this is kind of a sad place. The music is just fucking trippy. It's like... God, that's, I could, like, fall asleep to that, but, yeah. So, these people are all at the stone... The, the, uh, their, like, grave site of their wild Pokemon. Like, this bitch's Growlithe died. I'm sorry to hear about that, but... Nothing really I can do about it. Go to it. Why didn't you just take it to a Poke Center? I've never heard of a Pokemon dying. Fucking... They just faint. Just can take them to the Poke Center, stupid. But I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. Alright, so that's fucking weird. Holy shit, what the hell's this guy? Oh, hey, look at it. It's Ashley. Alright. Hey, and what brings you here? My fucking Pokemon life brings me here, asshole. God, Ashley is hot. Look at how hot Ashley is. I would do her. You guys don't even know. But, uh, she's got a Pidgeotto, which is actually great because Thunderbolt kills it. Fucking, this Voltorb is working out for me. I love it. And now she's about to use Execute. So let's switch into Sergeant Sting because I got that fucking Twin Needle on that bitch. Now she's got a Gyarados. And guess what? Let's bring out Balls again. And Thunderbolt to- Oh shit! Use the wrong move. Thunderbolt. Because it's like five times effective. <laughs> And Gyarados faints, and we gain level 26. We're, damn, we are growing fast with this fucking Voltorb. Next, she has a Kadabra. Let's... This thing can actually attack now. Let's go into Sergeant Sting and Twin Needle it. Nice. Now, her last park, her last Pokemon is the Charmeleon, and we will go into Cordelius and Water Gun it. So our Pokemon team has just fucking found its way around Ashley's. And we just some, we kicked some ass. So I took it easy on you, too. No, you didn't. You fucking lie. You you wish you took it easy on me, Ashley. You wish. So, uh... Um... Uh, God, Ashley says that, uh... We killed her Raticate. What the fuck is he talking about? We did not kill it. I clearly saw its hit points just go down to zero. How did he kill it? That's that's why that's why this he, she's here. It's because she had to bury her damn Raticate, but... I'm sorry to hear about that, Ashley. I didn't mean to kill you, Raticate. I just hit it with a fucking... I don't even remember which attack I used on it. It wasn't even... I probably didn't even kill it. If I mean, if I hit it with, like, a Hyper Beam from a Gyarados, maybe I could understand why it would be here, but... Other than that, I, I, see, no, I see no reason why. <laughs> so, I mean, this... I guess this place... This is a pretty cool... This is a pretty cool place. Where the hell do I even go? Oh, shit, there's stairs right here. I didn't even... What, are, what am I talking about? Alright. There is wild ghost! Holy shit, what is that thing? I don't... I don't even know. That's not a Pokemon. That's a ghost. This is kind of scary. I for some reason feel like this is a bad place to be. And there's people to battle all over the place. Jesus Christ. She's got a Ghastly, so I'm thinking those ghost Pokemon are probably Ghastly. No shit. I don't know. Damn it, all I have is... Wait, maybe Sonic Boom. Did that kill it? Alright, that killed it. Chandler was defeated. So guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Please click thumbs up on the video and go check out next episode. There'll be a link in the annotation probably. It's probably not up yet, but if you're watching this 
you're watching this like five minutes after, like five, five, five weeks after I uploaded it, then maybe that button will be there and you'll be, you'll be able to check out the new episode, but, but other than that, I mean, you guys are just kind of have to click on a button that doesn't take you anywhere, so, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even talking about, later guys.